Uh, yes, it's. Um, I think it's an exciting week for our team, and uh, boy, it's great. Uh, it's great to be able to play a game of this nature uh, at Jordan Hare, back here at Jordan Hare, and uh, I think you know our team is very, very uh, excited to play against a great football team. So uh, we understand the challenges ahead for us uh, all the way around in a game like this, but uh, this is. This is what college football is all about, to be able to have the opportunity to have a very good football team come in here and, uh, you know, again, see how much improvement we've made from the week before. I think our players uh, are very excited about the opportunity. I know coaches are as well. And so uh, I think that will be fun for our fans. And uh, uh, I just think, again, it's going uh, to be a great evening, 6 o'clock kickoff, so uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, we'll get back to work today and uh, start preparing. Questions? Against the uh, LSU special teams, you guys anticipate kicking it deeper to keep them from having returns, just with the dangerousness of their return men. Right. Right. They've they've uh, you know they've always been very very good on special teams. I think they're very they're a very athletic team from top to bottom. So obviously they pose they pose a lot of challenges. But uh, you know we'll we'll decide uh, as we get you know closer. We've got a game plan in mind right now. You know last year they were very effective. They're one of the few teams that we thought uh, you know beat us in the special teams game with the hidden yards and field position. And and uh, last year uh, that was something that. You know that stood out to us. So we know they got a great return game. They've got several guys that can return punts and kickoffs that are very potent. Uh, but we feel like again our coverage units are really, really good. We think it's a very good matchup. Uh, and I, and it depends, you know, on what our ideas are, uh, depending on how the games unfold. So we, we know the challenges of kicking it to their guys. We know that they return, you know. Uh, Punts for touchdowns and things of that nature, but we will play that by ear. We'll have a plan to do both. Sunday, a lot of the guys <coughs> asked about when they think of this game, what word comes to mind? And they say physical. You've got a pretty good perspective of that down there on the sideline. Is it one of the more physical games you play all year? I don't think there's any question. If there's any question, I think that part of their success over the last few years, um, you know, has been their ability to, you know, bring that physical nature to their game. And, uh, you know, there's no, there's no real secrets with what, what they try to do. They execute. They've got very good players. Uh, they try to out physical. They're going to run the ball and play action you and uh, take some deep shots on you during the game. And then, but the physical – the physicality part of their defense is very obvious as well, you know, when you turn that film on. So uh, that's what they're built on. And so that's why, that's one of the reasons, in my opinion, you've seen a lot of success from them. And uh, you can tell that's, you know, that's a way of life for them. Gene, you, you talk a lot about wanting to be physical like that. How, how do you get to that point to be consistently physical that way? Well, I think you got to practice that way uh, every day. I think that you got to build it into your culture. I think what they do on both sides of the ball allows them to have built that culture, you know, over the years. And, and it's a, you know, it's a, you know, a, a two tight end at times, two back, um, pound the football at you, you know, and play and play action. And I think, you know, again, when you're doing that on a daily basis in practice, uh, that develops a, you know, a toughness for your team. And uh, they've done that. There's no question. Is, was that at least part of your thinking and making the, the move on offense you made from last year? This year? Yeah, it's part of it's part of us, you know, trying to again be more physical uh, with our, you know, the whole approach to our team, you know, and you know we've always been fairly physical on special teams. You know, we know there's room for improvement. We've we've been aggressive. We've been aggressive in what we do special teams wise. Um, again, the physicality of our game needs to continue to improve, as we all know. I don't think that's a secret. And uh, I think by the way we're practicing and, and you know, how much we're uh, going against each other with some physical downhill running game, 
I think you're going to see it continue to improve. You know, how tough is it for a guy like Kyle and a guy kind of jumping into there? How tough is it to learn from a mistake but also kind of forget about it and, and just keep playing? I mean, is that, is that one of the tougher things? I think it's the individual, but I think it's certainly challenging for a young guy who's never really had to, you know, overcome those things. You know, the quarterback world in this league is very, very mental. And that's both when good things happen and when, you know, uh, challenging things happen to you. So uh, I think it really depends on the individual. Uh, but again, uh, if you're going to play quarterback in this league, you know, that's what you have to be able to do. So there's really no option, you know, if you're going to be effective the next game. So uh, he's been good with, uh, you know, overcoming the adversity two weeks ago to playing better this past week. And you know, every week is going to be a learning experience for him. And there'll be challenges, different challenges that come the next week uh, based on something that happened the week before. And he's, you know, he's going to have to, again, grow up and you know, continue to grow up, which I think he is, and you know, work through those challenges. How about how do you help him deal with it during the course of the game? Well, uh, you know, you're just in constant contact with him and, and you know, making sure that he's, you know, that his body language and everything is right. And, uh, you know, the main thing is, is trying to get him some success early in the game. You know, I think that's the main thing. So, uh, you know, if you're able to do that, there's something that may happen bad, uh, you know, somewhere down the line in the game. Uh, but again, I think it's, you know, you got to have a very short memory to be good at this position. It's about poise and character and, and confidence and, you know, you just, you can't be shaken. And so that's easier said than done when you got, you know, everybody telling you how good you are or how bad you are or all the other things that are out there. Uh, but that's, that, comes with the, that comes with the job and he knows that. And we've had several discussions on that and he'll continue to grow. Another thing easier said than done is running the ball against LSU, but how important is it Well, I've said that several times. You know, I don't. I don't. You know, our plan is to never is to never put you know a game entirely on the quarterback. Whoever the quarterback is here, um, you know, there's there's other guys out there that got a lot of work that they got to do to help get the job done, contribute to the job. We got we got to be able to move the football. I mean, this. I mean, they're giving up less than 50 yards a game running the football. So we've got to find some way to run it. And we rushed for 255 yards last week, but this is a different type of deal. So uh, running the football is obviously imperative when it, when it comes to trying to take a quarterback and, and you know, continue to see him grow. So what helps that? Running the ball. Well, we know the challenges of that. We know what people have attempted to do in the first three games, Washington and everybody else. That happened. So we uh, we got to figure out a way to run the ball, take the pressure off of you know our quarterback some, and um, you know be able to throw the ball as well, but mainly started taking the pressure off the quarterback by finding ways to run the ball. You started to get contributions from other guys in the passing game like Sammy. You got Trey spoil that a little bit. It, will it be important for Emory and Philip to get re reintegrated as they certainly did in the Clemson game? Yeah, I, I don't think there's any question. And, and I think that, you know, the more we're able to spread the ball around to different people, you know, then obviously the more, uh, you know, people aren't going to be able to, if they choose to double one or double the other, uh, they won't continue to be able to have the luxury to do that as long as other guys are being productive. So I think it's really important for four or five of our receivers uh, to be able to be go-to guys that, you know, we've got, you know, we've got a lot of trust and confidence in that they'll catch the ball when the time is right. As you watch film of LSU, how does the absence of Tyler Matthew really affect things, change things for them on the field? Well, to be honest with you, the ones that I saw come in and play that, that aren't, you know, besides him, they're very talented and, and, and very explosive and uh, very confident. I haven't seen them have any problems covering receivers, whether it's a man or so. So um, I can't tell you exactly, you know, what the drop off is in terms of him versus them, but as an entire defense, I don't see a drop off.